Hi guys, my name is Dominic Marisich. I'm the CEO of Home Inspector Pro. I'm uh, here today to just give you a short overview video on how to get started with the Home Inspector Pro software, just to make things easier for you to get started using the software throughout your AHIT class. Uh, the first thing you want to do is actually register for the software. And what we're going to do is in your internet browser, go to www.hip4ahit.com hip for a hit.com and hit enter. And then I'll take you to a special page on our website that's dedicated for a hit students. When you scroll down, gives you a bunch of information about the software. And then you'll see right here that you can sign up for a 60 day student trial for free. Once you're ready to purchase, there's also two more separate plans here. The first thing you want to do today though, is just set up your uh, free trial. So you're going to click on sign up now. This is gonna allow you to create the username and password that you'll use throughout our entire system. So make sure that you write that username and password down uh, so you don't forget it. If for some reason you do need to go look it up again, you can click on uh, log in on our website and then forgot password and reset it. So click on sign up now. And then it's gonna bring up the A hit trial plan. Click on sign up and subscribe. Put in your name, email, username and password. Um, you click on CAPTCHA to verify you're not a robot. I realize not everyone has a company name already chosen out, but you can go ahead and uh, just use, you know, a hit trial or put in a company name that you plan on using. Once you're done, you click sign up. Uh, that'll take you to a welcome page that'll give you some more information. It'll also trigger out an email that'll go directly to you. Uh, that'll give you some more information as well. One of the things that that page will do is it'll take you to a welcome page. And that welcome page will actually look just like this. Welcome to Home Inspector Pro. And this will give you the ability to download the software for Windows and Mac. Also, you can download it for an Android device or on the App Store, an iPhone, iPad uh, version here as well. If for some reason you aren't taken to this page, you accidentally close it, that's no problem. Uh, just log into the website here click on support and an option will appear here under support that says downloads. Under downloads, you're able to download the latest version of the software for your Windows and Mac device. Uh, what we wanna do now though, is uh, get you started directly on the mobile app. That's what most of you guys will be using in class first. The Windows and Mac version, if you have a laptop on you, you can of course use that. Otherwise you would use that at home uh, at another time, but not here directly in class. So I'm gonna open up the Android version, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this full screen here. Um, if you do not have Home Inspector Pro installed already, uh, on the very bottom here, I have the Google Play icon. This is an Android device. You could do the same thing on an iPhone, go to the App Store, go to the top, and search, search for Home Inspector Pro, and hit Enter. Once you type in Home Inspector Pro, uh, you'll see right here either open or install. If you don't have it yet, it'll say install. Otherwise, it'll say open. I can open it directly from here. Also, directly on my home screen or wherever else. On the left-hand side here, you can see that I have Home Inspector Pro Mobile, that HIP, and I'm going to click on that and open it. Uh, first time the app opens on any device that you have, it's going to ask you for permissions. Make sure that you allow permissions. If you do not, the app is not going to work properly for you. The pop-up message comes up saying, hey, welcome to Home Inspector Pro. If you already have an account, it kind of gives you some information. If not, um, it gives you information on how to sign up. It also has our phone number on there, live chat. One of the great things about our company and one of the reasons that AHIT chose us as a partner is we have tech support seven days a week. Monday through Friday, we have tech support actually open almost 24 hours a day. Uh, it's 22 hours a day at the time that I've, um, I'm filming this for everybody. You can call us at 888-750-4777. Click on live chat on our website or just click on under support, click on help desk. Okay, so once you have started the app, uh, depending on what version it has, or depending on what version you have, the app will either have a name and password in there already, or if you have a, um, an update, we're actually gonna be removing this portion and, and doing something slightly different that I'll explain. But if you log in, as soon as you open it up, you see the app trial as a name and password, um, you could just click on login. 
At any time, if you didn't have that in there, you can actually type in the name and the password app trial. It's the same for both. Once you've clicked login down below, it says download template from cloud. Click on this drop down arrow and that shows you a list of all the templates that are in the cloud. We have an update coming out for the software shortly. And you actually might already have it as you're watching this video that'll automatically download all the default templates. But if not, you can come on here and download any of these. So by default, these are the templates you have. Obviously the AHIT master checklist report is the one that your instructor will be talking about the most. Some instructors will also share some individual templates they've created, but you can also go through the software and play around with some of the other templates. Accessibility is an ADA template. There's a fire door, a fireplace template. There's a mold template. There's commercial templates and other versions of residential templates. Uh, if you are in Texas, you'll likely also be going over uh, the Texas Trek 7.6 template. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the AHIT template and I'm gonna click on download. Once I've clicked on download, that template is now stored on my phone and I can use that template as many times as I want to start a new inspection. So I can, I can download as many different templates as I want directly uh, into the mobile app. So now that it's downloaded, I can go to manage. It's telling me there's no inspections yet, that's fine. And I'm gonna select the template, a hit master checklist report. And I can create an inspection, for example, called test. That's the name of it. Most of the time inspectors use the address or the client's name. And I'm gonna click on create. Once that inspection has been created, it brings up all the list of sections that are in that a hit master template. Just briefly at the top of the program, I can use that slider to adjust the font size to make things easier on your eyes based on your screen size. And now we call this our list of sections. And if I drill down into this, for example, I click on grounds, I have all the list of items within the section and I can go to something like service walks. And I can come down and say, tap it once to say it's concrete. And if there's an issue here, I could tap it once to put it in the report. And if there's narrative here, something like uneven trip, this is giving me a lot more um, information here. I can tap it once in the report or twice to put it in the summary. I can click on the pencil to edit. There's also a search field at the top. I can type in something like trip and it shows me all my narratives here in this section that have something to do with a trip hazard. There's a lot more to this software and you can go on our website, click on support and tutorials to watch tutorial videos about all aspects of it. But today we're really just discussing how to transfer files to and from mobile and desktop and get you started with everything. Uh, on the bottom left here, I'm gonna click on the home icon. It brings me back to my main list of sections. I'm gonna go to the sync tab. The sync tab is used not only to download templates from the cloud to your mobile device, but also to upload, I just clicked on upload there at the bottom, to upload inspections back to the cloud. Uh, in this case, because I have app trial entered in, it's gonna tell me I'm not allowed to upload. You are going to put in, after you've downloaded the uh, template that you want, up at the top, you put in your name and password that you used on our website that you created. So leave that app trial in there just to download the AHIT template, but then when you're ready to sync things back, go ahead and just erase this and put in your name and password directly in there. You'll click upload and that file will now exist back in the cloud. Now, after you've downloaded the Windows or Mac version of the software, it'll it goes to your downloads folder, you click on the installer uh, and it allows you to install the software. You'll then have a Home Inspector Pro icon, this little green guy here sitting on desktop. So you can double click on that to open it up and it'll open you up directly to the client information screen. This was just uh, generic information I was putting in here to test. And by default, it opens up to our default template. You can click on open template and select the A hit master if you wanna look at what the AHIT template looks like. So the Windows and Mac version of the software is identical to the setup that's in the mobile app. You see the same sections, you navigate through the top of the software, grounds, exterior. Uh, for example, we were looking at grounds a little while ago and we can look directly here under service walks and everything else. I'm going to um, show you that the mobile sync tab right here 
is where you will come to download an inspection from the cloud. So once you have uploaded a file from your mobile device, you come here, you click on download, you'll see a list of all your inspections that you have. And I can just click on download on that inspection from today and I'll give it a name and it saves it directly to this device. 99% of your work on your inspection is being done on that mobile device. You're taking your photos, you're taking your video, you're selecting all your narratives, you're drawing on the photos. You have all that done, but at the very end, you come in here and you'll download that inspection, open that inspection, and then that'll allow you to generate the final report uh, that you could send off to your instructor or off to your client. Uh, to do that, you'll simply click on generate report, which is right here. It brings up a list of all your sections, and then it creates a PDF file that will save to your computer. And then you can simply email that as an attachment, it goes to the client reports folder or you can use a feature um, in here called the HIP Cloud or HIP Office to submit your report directly. So what happens is, let's bring it up my sample report here. If you go in and you put in your instructor's name under email address, when you click on upload report, you can upload the report to your client and then that client would be your instructor. It would send the report directly to your instructor. Throughout this entire process, obviously the first time you're doing it, you're trying to figure out what to, what to do. But very simply, you're downloading the mobile app by going to the App Store, searching for Home Inspector Pro and installing it on your computer, your Windows or your Mac. You're going to our website. You're downloading the Windows and Mac version. Again, that you should have received an email as soon as you signed up for the trial with that. Uh, if for some reason you didn't, you can simply come to the top of the website and log in. I'm going to log in here real quick just to show you. Once you've logged in on the top, you can click on downloads and that will take you to a screen that has all your downloads. And the most recent version of the software is going to be uh, whatever the highest number is here. So right now we're on Home Inspector Pro 6, so it shows the latest as of today is 6.3.8. You can ignore the older versions. Those are for um, people who still use uh, older versions of the software, but we have the Windows and Mac version that you can download directly on there. If you have any questions on this, uh, you know, tech support, like I said earlier, is amazing. Come up here, you have our phone number, you have our email address. You can also go over to uh, online training classes to sign up for the classes that we have four to five days a week. You can go to the help desk to ask questions directly uh, by typing up a message and one of our team members will get back to you. You can also look at the mobile tutorials, the desktop tutorials and HIP office tutorials that we have. And then you can click on the green icon right here to pop open a chat screen. And then you can select a category and chat with one of our support team members. Uh, if you're interested in playing around with HIP office throughout this process as well, just type in office.homeinspectorpro.com and your trial actually gives you full access to that and you can look around and, and test that out. HIP Office is the system to do your scheduling, to allow clients to pay, to sign your contracts uh, and everything else, basically to automate your business, automatically sends out text messages and emails and everything else throughout the, your entire journey. If you have any questions on this, please let us know.